This demonstration will show you how to replace a double pane sealed glass, or the technical term, a thermal unit in your window. The tools and parts you will need include a pencil, tape measure, flat utility knife, a putty knife, chisel, plastic or rubber mallet, a 1 8 inch setting block or shim, tube of caulking, razor blade, mineral, mineral spirits, and a rag. For your personal protection, safety glasses and utility gloves are strongly recommended. Use a chisel to gently pry off the glazing stops on the window you wish to repair. Always pry off the heights first, then the widths. Start from one end of the glazing stop and work your way to the other end. Do the same thing for the other glazing stops. Once the glazing stops have been removed, Measure the height and width of the actual glass. Ensure that the thermal you have to replace the damaged thermal is the same size within plus or minus one eighth of an inch. Mark the location of the setting blocks before removing with a pencil to make sure they are reset to their original position. From the inside, cut through the heel bead, which should be along the inside bottom and up eight inches on each side. Also cut through the caulking at the setting block locations. From the outside you will need to cut the glass away from the frame. From the exterior of the window slide your utility knife along the edge of the glass inserting it between the vinyl and the glass. You will need at least one inch of exposed knife blade. It is important that you have a helper hold the glass in place until you have completely detached the glass from the frame. Follow the perimeter of the glass, progressively pushing the knife deeper. Be patient, this could take five to 10 minutes. Read that again. With the thermal unit completely detached, with your helper still holding on the inside of the window, slowly apply a firm push on the top half of the glass. Your helper will now be able to grab the top of the thermal unit and set it aside the contact surfaces should be cleaned. Using a chisel, putty knife, or utility knife, remove leftover caulking or black glazing tape from the frame. You will also need to remove any remaining setting blocks. The surface should be smooth. Apply a 1 8 to 3 16 inch continuous bead of caulking all around the perimeter of the frame. The bead should be in 1 quarter inch from the edge. The setting blocks should be reinserted in each vertical side of the thermal where you had marked their position. A trick here is to apply a dab of caulking to hold the setting blocks in place. Carefully place the new thermo into your window, starting with the bottom, ensuring it is centered, then tipping the top of the thermo into place. If your thermo is a low E argon thermo, ensure that the low E argon sticker is facing the inside of the home and is in the bottom corner of the thermo. Firmly press on the thermo to ensure good contact all around the edges. Apply a final 1 8 inch to 3 16 inch bead of caulking, this is called a heel bead, along the bottom edge of the thermal and up 6 to 8 inches on each side. Also apply a dab of caulking on the setting blocks. The bead should be tooled to ensure thorough coverage. This can be done by running your finger along the bead. Reapply the glazing stops by snapping them in place. The horizontal glazing stops need to be installed first. A 
align one end, snap it into place, then firmly run your finger along the length of the stop. Clean off any remaining caulking on the glass with a razor blade or mineral spirits. Do not use the razor blade to clean any caulking on the vinyl frame as this may scratch the vinyl.